Well, folks, something feels a little bit weird to me. Um, something feels not right, missing, whatever. Um, so for those of you who might not know, uh, Microsoft actually uh, changed their activation uh, services, you know, the way they're activating the products as of December 21st, 2025. So what I got here is a fresh copy, a fresh install of Windows XP Home Edition uh, with Service Pack 1 installed on my surprise computer that will should be shown on the channel in a few days but let's like that and obviously i don't have a graphics card installed so yeah that is super super slow because i haven't installed a graphics card and i'm gonna go to the first number on there that's that's shown on the screen in fact i have all the i not showing you it but i have in my contacts all the numbers for the product activation service. And we'll go for the first one that shows and take a listen. Hi, thanks for calling the Microsoft product activation service. Para Español, diga Español, opresione dos. So obviously, um, yeah, um, so this is the phone activation services that um, at up until December 21st, 2025, it worked, <laughs> it pretty much worked for as it is. I did do a video on the on trying to activate Windows XP uh, via the phone activation services like a few years ago. I think that was like one or two years ago, I guess, or something. And uh, I did the phone activation services, the first attempt, and well, I, it, it was kind of like a hit or miss thing. Anyways, select. Littering. Press two. Thank you. This call will not be recorded or monitored. Support for product activation has moved online. For the fastest and most convenient way to activate your product, please visit our online product activation portal at aka.ms slash aoh from an internet connected device, and the portal will guide you through the activation steps. Would it be okay for me to send you the link to our online activation portal via text message? To the phone number you are calling from? No. Okay, no problem. Instead, would you like me to repeat the web address to our online activation portal? No. Okay, please open the activation portal link that was provided and follow the on-screen instructions to complete your activation. Thanks for calling Microsoft. Have a good day. Okay, so um, so that's boot, but I've already uh, sent a text message, so I'm gonna have to like uh, go to the link that it was provided, and um, so if we go here. Welcome to the Microsoft Activation Portal. You're just a few steps away from activating your Microsoft product. Whether you're a home user, business professional, or trusted partner, this portal is designed to guide you through the process quickly and easily. VL customers can also access support through this portal to help locate VL keys or increase MAK activation lists. Now, obviously, we do need to sign in to our Microsoft account. <sighs> so it's going to go through here. Oh, solve the puzzle. So put the train on the acorn. Submit. All right. Welcome to Microsoft Product Activation, and we'll sign in with our account. So I'm not going to do that. Proceed to sign in. So I'm going to use my. Uh, I'm going to use my. Uh, yeah, I'm going to use my Microsoft account that I've already set up. Use the pass key. See, I'm not showing all those. Stay signed in. Nope. All right, here we go. There we go. Microsoft product activation. How can we help you? Activate the Microsoft product. Windows. Windows XP. Because yeah. Now we'll enter in the. I'll enter in the full installation ID, and I'll be back with you guys in a bit once I filled it out. All right. I typed in my installation ID in all in one line, and as you can see, I already auto populated those sections for us. So all we need to do is kind of like enter the installation ID in all in one line, no dashes, no space, no whatever. It'll just auto-populate all those things. <laughs> I 
a lot more streamlined than what I did uh, before. So I'll hit submit and take a look. There we go. That works. Success. To complete the activation process, enter this confirmation ID into the activation window on your computer and click next or activate. So now I will go ahead and type in what it is. I'll type turn on lock on. So Oh, it even uh, beeps at us because the installation ID is probably not correct. Uh, D, oh yeah, I, <laughs> I typed in the wrong one, so it even knows. All right, next, and we'll see if that goes. Oh, there it goes. I can hear the hard drive clicking away. Thank you. When you're ready, click finish to continue working with Windows. All right. And that means if we go back here to activate Windows, it will say, Windows is already activated. Click OK to exit. All right. There we go. Were you successful in activating your product? Yes. Great. Your product has been successfully activated. Thank you for contacting Microsoft. Goodbye. Yeah, I mean, it's a bit of a pain for those who want to try out uh, for free uh, without uh, a Microsoft account by the phone activation services or the online activation services because even the online activation service now requires you to log on with a Microsoft account, which means you had to create a Microsoft account before you can activate your product. You can't do it uh, without an account anymore, which is a bummer. But, you know, for me... Um, this change doesn't really sour me that much because, well, you just saw me uh, <laughs> activate Windows XP, you know, on my uh, Compact Presario 7000 computer, the Intel one, which is actually sitting right next to me, um, actually unused, but you saw how that went, obviously, so, and at that video, spoiler alert, I gave up and I did the activation services online obviously and that was before you had to use a microsoft account obviously so now that you had to use the microsoft account it's you know it's kind of like um i want to say um it makes it a little bit uh a hassle you know for those that wanted to try to do this out for free or whatever but there are some alternatives like that one little program that will let you do it that i'm not going to tell you obviously but it's out there and you can use it and it will and it will do the activation stuff for you or you can do a legacy update if you have a internet connected uh, internet connection plugged into this thing and you use legacy update that will fix the activation uh services uh the bridging processes from activating online via windows xp and that will work but anyways i'm gonna have to take off here because at the time of recording it's actually Christmas Eve, so I had to like hang out with my, you know, my brother and my parents and whatnot, and prep all the presents and whatnot. That, yeah, that's why I'm kind of been doing this quick. But anyways, that about wraps up for me here. So, I think I hope you guys for thank you guys for watching this video and happy holidays to everyone, and I hope to see you on the next one. See ya.